welcome back. Stasa 23 here, back again with some knife therapy. And today I have for you my top 10 most carried knives of December 2021. And the ones you see out front, these are honorable mentions. I just haven't had them long enough. Um, first off, we got the Kaiser, was it the SS1? Uh, I've been enjoying this one. I'm in the middle of doing the testing for it. Uh, it's definitely a fidgety knife in that smaller to medium size very very smooth action and um, something that I've noticed after testing a lot of Kaiser's uh, 154 CM they, they do a really good job with it uh, everyone that I've tested has done outstanding sharp and great and just you know it's one of my favorite uh, lower like budget steels so that's that's the first one uh, you, you should see a review of this pretty soon. Next up is the Kaiser Nuke. Uh, this is a kombu design. I like the overall aesthetics. Uh, comfortable. I'm working on this review as well. I like that nice little inlay of that layered U10 in there. Um, just a, a nice, nice overall looking knife. Good uh, action to it. And like I said, that little scoop right there and that choke up position really lends itself for a good grip. And last up, one that I was doing some testing on uh, yesterday out in the woods is this new Kaiser that I picked up. This is the Kaiser Baby. Uh, it has this nice, fat, tall, uh, full flat grind on it that comes down to a nice thin edge. Once again, you had that 154 CM, and I'm just going to tell you now, uh, I'm not finished with the testing, but the stuff I've done so far, this thing performed outstanding. I mean, outstanding, and for the price point, I know these aren't that expensive. Uh, you can get it in the coated, non-coated with a, I think, a JG10 scale, and uh, oof, yeah, you definitely want to check out this review. Uh, nice Kydex sheath it comes with, good positive retention. It's a little tight. It comes with one of these clips uh, that you can like rotate it so you can carry scout carry or vertical. Uh, there you go, that's the Kaiser Baby. So we'll put these off to the side and get started. So first up, one coming from Ferrum Forge, it's the Ferrum Forge Archbishop 3.0. Another one that I'm doing testing for. And I just realized I have a lot of videos <laughs> that are saved right now that I need to finish up. Um, swamps nice action super comfortable uh, the the contoured titanium with the softened edges just so nice in hand uh, that choke up position is comfortable it's a decently thin uh, edge would make an excellent work knife I don't know if these are uh, sold out at the moment I'm sure they'll do another run they usually always do very fidgety uh, the action is outstanding drops shut don't even have to shake it 20 cv blade steel uh i just think it looks nice i got the blasted stone wash they had several different anno colored variations you could get that's a ferrum forge archbishop 3.0 all right number two another one that i really hope they bring back and that is the arcona nettle f this is an ivan braganitz design I picked this up from Levon from the Knife Nuts podcast. He is a dealer for uh, the Braganitz design knives. And I saw this one when I was perusing his site and I thought it looked really cool and I'm very, very glad I picked it up. Right now they're not available. I'm not sure if he's bringing more in. You'd have to ask him. Um, I hope so because this is something that I think a lot of people would like. Uh, the the edge the geometry is ground decent nice and thin it's about 14 thousandths behind the edge look at this action super smooth action you can use that oh you can use that thumb hole for flipping the contoured uh, multi-layered micarta is nice and comfortable locks in the hand really nicely excellent access to that lock bar uh, it it is a front flipper as well up here and I'm not even a good front flipper. Just an overall awesome knife. Really, really uh, like it. K110 blade steel. Let's see where it is. K110, and that's Ivan's uh, maker's mark right there. Very cool knife. Deep carry pocket clip. I don't love the that 
you know, super vibrant blue on the backspacer, but it's not the end of the world. That is the Ivan Bragnitz uh, Arcona Nettle F. All right, number three, we have one coming from Khan Wu Nas. This one saw a lot of time in the pocket. This is the Teo. Um, I got this knife uh, a week or two ago, and I liked it so much after doing testing with it and stuff like that, carrying it a bunch, that I decided to uh, get on a Kickstarter campaign that he had for his new Teo X model. It's basically the same knife, but with like an axis style lock and a thumb deployment. And I love my thumb deployer, so I'm kind of excited about that one. M390 blade steel, high flat grind with a good rock well on this. I think it's like 60, 61 or so. Um, it's got a smooth action, fidgetability. You can flip it from here or you can front flip it from here very nicely. Uh, I prefer the back flip. That's just me. It's got an orange peel texture on the titanium and a really cool pivot collar. I don't know if it's Timascus or it's just a lasered pivot collar. Either way, doesn't matter. Deep carry pocket clip. Um, definitely, if you if you like this design or you saw his uh, Model X Teo, definitely want to keep an eye on his Instagram or his um, website to see when he's going to do his next Kickstarter campaign which I'm sure it won't be long because he just ended the one with the Teo X and it was backed um, and it had, you know, way more than it needed to be backed. So really cool. Can't wait to check out that one. That is, that was my number three. Number four is an Indiana Knives exclusive that I picked up, the Real Steel Megalodon. Uh, these are still available. And uh, another one that I'm in the process of doing the testing for. And man, I forgot how uh, excellent this thing sliced with this full flat grind. Everything I've everything I've cut so far, it performed outstanding. M390 blade, and it's holding an edge very nicely. Absolutely uh, biting into my finger right now. And I've done a good bit of testing with it so far. The only thing that, I, that I'm not in love with with the knife is that ramp on that pocket clip. I didn't notice it in the just a lighter cutting task, but uh, we'll, you'll, we'll talk about it in a full review. Nice micarta on here. Uh, some people mentioned they don't like the two sides uh, being different. <laughs> I, I like it. <laughs> I think it looks cool, and I love that cutout. It's just different on the lock bar. That's the uh, Real Steel Megalodon exclusive, Indiana Knives exclusive. And the exclusive is just basically with the micarta and bringing this knife back. It's a, it's a large knife. All right. Uh, let's see. Number five is my first knife from this company. And that is the Olight O-Knife Beagle. And this is the limited version. I... I I wasn't sure how limited it was, but I think they're sold out. I don't know if they're bringing them back or not. And the limited one is just the one with the, the green canvas micarta. I think it looks really nice. Uh, they have another version with, I think, uh, carbon fiber scales that you could still purchase. Uh, one of the main reasons why I picked up this one is because I saw that as a thumb stud deployer. I like that, that harpoon blade shape, and I was right. It's super comfortable in hand. And once again, this one is in 154cm. So, you know, that, that gets me excited whenever I see a Kaiser I like and it's in 154 and, you know, they're, you know, lower price range knives. This thing's got a really nice action, super smooth. Oh, <laughs> it, it wasn't acting like just now. Nice and snappy. Um, it's more meant for like a flick, but you can, you can roll it out. Very cool design. It's in that medium, uh, medium to large size, deep carry pocket clip. Go. All righty, coming in at number six, we have one from Miguron Knives, uh, and this one saw a lot of pocket time too. This is the Miguron uh, Carex, I think it's called. Uh, I always mess up on that name. It's kind of funny spelled. I like the blade shape. 
it it's conducive to the type of cutting I do lots of cardboard and stuff like that I'm in the process of testing this one so I'm not sure you know the quality so far I will say it, it does have a very smooth action as you can see there fidgety with that large thumb hole you can thumb flick it spotty flick it front flip it I don't love the front flipper because a lot of times whenever being that that sticks up uh pretty high whenever I go to flip it like that it either pinches my finger because you can see how far you can see how far that goes back so right there pinch you so you got to kind of be back on the knife or just move your finger out of the way um, nice nice looking knife um, I love the the pattern the it's like a diamond texture inside the holes right there See, I'll shine some light on it in there. You can see it right there. And it's done in that milled out light lightning pockets, which they did all over the place. So just cool. And then you have that blue uh, luminous, I mean, like a blue color into the crushed carbon fiber or whatever it is. Very cool. M390, smooth, comfortable. Um, and like I said, I'm finishing up the review on this one as well. All right, next up, number seven. This is something, a knife that y'all recommended to me over and over and over and over again anytime I, I reviewed a Kaiser. So finally, a week or so ago, I was able to find one that I wanted, and this is the Kaiser Lan. Um, I was waiting for the Micarta frag version. They had the, the Black G10 one still available everywhere, but this one I could not find for a while. Um, and wow. The action is awesome like I mean just watch this nice and drop shut and wax out it's got a well-tuned detent for flipping um, it's got like a compound grind up here uh, the only thing that I wish I wish this thing was in uh, 154 but it is in an N690 which is a it's a decent budget stainless steel I don't love Kaiser's N690 but that's just me um, I much prefer their 154 it, you know if I could choose between the two and we'll see I'm putting this one through its paces now and let me know if y'all want to see the full review and testing of this one because I know there's a lot of people who've already reviewed this one and those videos tend not to get watched so y'all just let me know down below and thank y'all for um, recommending me this now one thing I did notice as well this uh, a frag pattern on my carta is like super grippy and, and can kind of bother my my finger whenever I'm holding my finger back here to flip it, it right up in here it's it's not yeah it's kind of sharp in certain directions I don't know I may knock that down after uh, after I review it if I do review it so that's a Kaiser line I did so next up number eight it's not new by any means but it, I carried a whole bunch and that is a Spyderco Capara. And this is a DLT exclusive one. And let's see, is it on this side? Yes, yeah, CPM 20 CV. And um, I bought this one a while back. I didn't carry it much because it had those smooth gray G10 scales. I put these Rips Garage Tech uh, aftermarket micarta scales. It's either blue denim, I mean, yeah, blue denim micarta or blue canvas micarta. I don't remember which one it was, but uh, now it has nice, like a nice tactile grip to it. I don't feel like I'm going to throw the knife across the room whenever I do that little pinch like that when I do this. Uh, before, I was pretty much holding it like this, dropping it like this, letting that hit my finger and then closing it. But I, I don't know. It, it, it This... The, the micarta scales made me want to carry this knife again and I have to say that this is the sharpest one of the sharpest production knives that I've ever gotten out of box I, I tested this on my best tester and it was I think in the 98 range which is very sharp uh, and very very nice this thing is held an edge very nicely I've used it a lot uh, cutting up boxes after Christmas and it held up just fine slices great with that full flight grind all right, we got two more, and these are in that budget realm. Coming in number nine was one from Shielden Knives, and this is the Shielden Relicanth, I think it's called. Uh, I 
I like this knife a whole lot. Uh, the blade shape is just beautiful in my opinion. You have this nice scoop, so my finger fits there nicely. It's in that medium size range that I enjoy so much in that seven inch, you know, seven and a quarter or so range. And it's got those unique, looks like, uh, um, like a leaf pattern on this G10, contour G10, and the action on this knife. Watch this. Whoop. Nice and smooth, nice and snappy, and nice and fidgety because I got that thumb deployer as well. I can slow roll it if I want. Uh, just, I've been really enjoying this. It's got a black pivot collar around the pivot, lot, uh, stainless steel liner lock, deep carry pocket clip on this one. Uh, that's awesome to see there. Just, mm. Uh, I will be starting the testing on this one soon. I am wrapping up another one of the knives right now. So y'all stay tuned for that. And that is the Sheldon Knives Relicanth. This is in D2 steel. You can get it in black or gray coating on it. All right. The last up, number 10, is coming from Cubis Blade Works. And that is his production variant model. He did a custom variant of this, and uh, I'm testing this one as well right now. <laughs> uh, there were 60-something dollars. You can get them on his website. They were available at the time of shooting the vi video. Uh, 14C28N, QSP is the OEM of it. Uh, nice and smooth action on these, and fidgety with that nice blade hole. Uh, I love how they pulled that, they put you a sharpening notch in there for uh, for sharpening it up. You got pretty much a full flat. It comes up, you can see there's somewhat of a flat right there, but it's pretty, it's full flat up here at least. Um, overall, I like the knife. And, <laughs> uh, what was I about? Oh, after I do the full uh, review and testing of uh, this knife I will probably be giving one away so if that's something y'all are inter interested in stay tuned on the channel and uh, make sure to be watching out we do have a giveaway going on right now um, for uh, Savivi Badland Vegabond that I will be giving away once that review is over as well so y'all stay tuned we will be doing a lot more giveaways in 2022 um, just because I have some stuff stored up that I need to give away. That stuff that is either given to me by companies or I have two of them or just want to give it away to y'all. So there you go. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. I hope everybody's having an absolutely wonderful day and I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.